Day 36. You can still feel that joy. Helen Fisher. Step 1. Preview. People have often asked me whether what I know about love has spoiled it for me. And I just simply say, hardly. You can know every single ingredient in a piece of chocolate cake. And then, when you sit down and eat that cake, you can still feel that joy. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. People have often asked me. Number 2. Whether what I know about love has spoiled it for me. Number 3. And I just simply say, hardly. Number 4. You can know every single ingredient in a piece of chocolate cake. Number 5. And then, when you sit down and eat that cake. Number 6. You can still feel that joy. Step 3. Paragraph. People have often asked me whether what I know about love has spoiled it for me. And I just simply say, hardly. You can know every single ingredient in a piece of chocolate cake. And then, when you sit down and eat that cake, you can still feel that joy. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. What I know about love has spoiled it for me. Number 2. I just simply say, hardly. Number 3. You can know every single ingredient in a piece of chocolate cake. Day 37. Remember, you will not always win. Maxwell Maltz. Step 1. Preview. Remember, you will not always win. Some days, the most resourceful individual will taste defeat. But there is, in this case, always tomorrow. After you have done your best to achieve success today. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Remember, you will not always win. Number 2. Some days, the most resourceful individual will taste defeat. Number 3. But there is, in this case, always tomorrow. Number 4. After you have done your best to achieve success today. Step 3. Paragraph. Remember, you will not always win. Some days, the most resourceful individual will taste defeat. But there is, in this case, always tomorrow. After you have done your best to achieve success today. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. You will not always win. Number 2. The most resourceful individual will taste defeat. Number 3. You have done your best. Day 38. It's never too late to do some good. Maya Angelou. Step 1. Preview. I'm convinced of this. Good done anywhere is good done everywhere. For a change, start by speaking to people, rather than walking by them like they're stones that don't matter. As long as you're breathing, it's never too late to do some good. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. I'm convinced of this. Number 2. Good done anywhere is good done everywhere. Number 3. For a change, start by speaking to people. Number 4. Rather than walking by them like they're stones that don't matter. Number 5. As long as you're breathing, it's never too late to do some good. Step 3. Paragraph. I'm convinced of this. Good done anywhere is good done everywhere. For a change, start by speaking to people, rather than walking by them like they're stones that don't matter. 
As long as you're breathing, it's never too late to do some good. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. I'm convinced of this. Number 2. Start by speaking to people. Number 3. It's never too late to do some good. Day 39. Don't be disabled in spirit. Stephen Hawking. Step 1. Preview. My advice to other disabled people would be concentrate on things your disability doesn't prevent you from doing well and don't regret the things it interferes with. Don't be disabled in spirit as well as physically. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. My advice to other disabled people would be. Number 2. Concentrate on things your disability doesn't prevent you doing well. Number 3. And don't regret the things it interferes with. Number 4. Don't be disabled in spirit as well as physically. Step 3. Paragraph. My advice to other disabled people would be concentrate on things your disability doesn't prevent you doing well and don't regret the things it interferes with. Don't be disabled in spirit as well as physically. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Concentrate on things. Number 2. Don't regret the things. Number 3. Don't be disabled in spirit. Day 40. You've got to sell it to yourself. James Cameron. Step 1. Preview. To convince people to back your idea, you've got to sell it to yourself and know when it's the moment. Sometimes that means waiting. It's like surfing. You don't create energy. You just harvest energy already out there. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. To convince people to back your idea. Number 2. You've got to sell it to yourself. Number 3. And know when it's the moment. Number 4. Sometimes that means waiting. Number 5. It's like surfing. Number 6. You don't create energy. Number 7. You just harvest energy already out there. Step 3. Paragraph. To convince people to back your idea, you've got to sell it to yourself and know when it's the moment. Sometimes that means waiting. It's like surfing. You don't create energy. You just harvest energy already out there. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Convince people to back your idea. Number 2. You've got to sell it to yourself. Number 3. It's like surfing. Day 41. Who are you to judge the life I live? Bob Marley. Step 1. Preview. Who are you to judge the life I live? I know I'm not perfect, and I don't live to be. But before you start pointing fingers, make sure your hands are clean. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Who are you to judge the life I live? Number 2. I know I'm not perfect. Number 3. And I don't live to be. Number 4. But before you start pointing fingers, Number 5. Make sure your hands are clean. Step 3. Paragraph. Who are you to judge the life I live? I know I'm not perfect, and I don't live to be. But before you start pointing fingers, make sure your hands are clean. Step 4. 
Exercise. Number one. Who are you to judge the life I live? Number two. I know I'm not perfect. Number three. Make sure your hands are clean. Day 42. Trying to please everybody is impossible. John Lennon. Step 1. Preview. Trying to please everybody is impossible. If you did that, you'd end up in the middle with nobody liking you. You've just got to make the decision about what you think is your best and do it. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Trying to please everybody is impossible. Number 2. If you did that, you'd end up in the middle with nobody liking you. Number 3. You've just got to make the decision. Number 4. About what you think is your best. Number 5. And do it. Step 3. Paragraph. Trying to please everybody is impossible. If you did that, you'd end up in the middle with nobody liking you. You've just got to make the decision about what you think is your best and do it. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. To please everybody is impossible. Number 2. You've just got to make the decision. Number three, do what you think is your best. Day 43. What makes us unique? Ellen DeGeneres. Step one, preview. It's our challenges and obstacles that give us layers of depth and make us interesting. Are they fun when they happen? No, but they are what make us unique. And that's what I know for sure, I think. Step two, sentence. Number one, it's our challenges and obstacles. Number two, that give us layers of depth and make us interesting. Number three, are they fun when they happen? No. Number four, but they are what make us unique. Number five. And that's what I know for sure. I think. Step three. Paragraph. It's our challenges and obstacles that give us layers of depth and make us interesting. Are they fun when they happen? No. But they are what make us unique. And that's what I know for sure. I think. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. It makes us interesting. Number 2. Are they fun when they happen? Number 3. That's what I know for sure. Day 44. Look to the other side. Tyra Banks. Step 1. Preview. One thing my mom used to tell me was to look to the other side and know that my present is not going to be everything. So if I'm having a bad day, she goes, just imagine tomorrow. This is going to be over. This is going to be done with. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. One thing my mom used to tell me was to look to the other side. Number two, and know that my present is not going to be everything. Number three, so if I'm having a bad day. Number four, she goes, just imagine tomorrow. Number five, this is going to be over. Number six, this is going to be done with. Step three. Paragraph. One thing my mom used to tell me was to look to the other side and know that my present is not going to be everything. So if I'm having a bad day, she goes, 
Just imagine tomorrow. This is going to be over. This is going to be done with. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Look to the other side. Number 2. My present is not going to be everything. Number 3. This is going to be over. Day 45. The fears are paper tigers. Amelia Earhart. Step 1. Preview. The most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity. The fears are paper tigers. You can do anything you decide to do. You can act to change and control your life. And the procedure, the process, is its own reward. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. The most difficult thing is the decision to act. Number 2. The rest is merely tenacity. Number 3. The fears are paper tigers. Number 4. You can do anything you decide to do. Number 5. You can act to change and control your life. Number 6. And the procedure, the process, is its own reward. Step 3. Paragraph. The most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity. The fears are paper tigers. You can do anything you decide to do. You can act to change and control your life. And the procedure, the process, is its own reward. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. The most difficult thing is the decision to act. Number 2. You can do anything you decide to do. Number 3. The process is its own reward. Day 46. Heart is what determines our fate. Isabel Allend. Step 1. Preview. Heart is what drives us and determines our fate. That is what I need for my characters in my books, a passionate heart. I need mavericks, dissidents, adventurers, outsiders, and rebels who ask questions, bend the rules, and take risks. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Heart is what drives us and determines our fate. Number 2. That is what I need for my characters in my books, a passionate heart. Number 3. I need mavericks, dissidents, adventurers, outsiders, and rebels. Number 4. Who ask questions, bend the rules, and take risks. Step 3. Paragraph. Heart is what drives us and determines our fate. That is what I need for my characters in my books. A passionate heart. I need mavericks, dissidents, adventurers, outsiders, and rebels who ask questions, bend the rules, and take risks. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Heart is what determines our fate. Number 2. I need mavericks. Number 3. Outsiders take risks. Day 47. What a privilege even to be alive. Tasha Tudor. Step 1. Preview. Life isn't long enough to do all you could accomplish. And what a privilege even to be alive. In spite of all the pollutions and horrors, how beautiful this world is. Supposing you only saw the stars once every year. Think what you would think. The wonder of it. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Life isn't long enough to do all you could accomplish. Number 2. 
And what a privilege even to be alive! Number three. In spite of all the pollutions and horrors, how beautiful this world is! Number four. Supposing you only saw the stars once every year. Number five. Think what you would think. Number six. The wonder of it. Step three. Paragraph. Life isn't long enough to do all you could accomplish, and what a privilege even to be alive! In spite of all the pollutions and horrors, how beautiful this world is! Supposing you only saw the stars once every year, think what you would think, the wonder of it. Step four, exercise. Number one, life isn't long enough. Number two. How beautiful this world is. Number three. Supposing you only saw the stars once every year. Day forty-eight. You need people who can tell you what you don't want to hear. Robert De Niro. Step one. Preview. The hardest thing about being famous is that people are always nice to you. You're in a conversation and everybody's agreeing with what you're saying, even if you say something totally crazy. You need people who can tell you what you don't want to hear. Step two, sentence. Number one. The hardest thing about being famous is that people are always nice to you. Number two. You're in a conversation. Number three. And everybody's agreeing with what you're saying. Number four. Even if you say something totally crazy. Number five. You need people who can tell you what you don't want to hear. Step three. Paragraph. The hardest thing about being famous is that people are always nice to you. You're in a conversation. And everybody's agreeing with what you're saying, even if you say something totally crazy. You need people who can tell you what you don't want to hear. Step four, exercise. Number one, people are always nice to you. Number two, I'm in a conversation. Number three, everybody is agreeing with what you're saying. Day forty nine. Your true self comes out. Tina Turner. Step one. Preview. Sometimes you've got to let everything go. Purge yourself. If you are unhappy with anything, whatever is bringing you down, get rid of it, because you'll find that when you're free, your true creativity, your true self, comes out. Step two. Sentence. Number one. Sometimes you've got to let everything go. Number two. Purge yourself. Number three. If you are unhappy with anything. Number four. Whatever is bringing you down, get rid of it. Number five. Because you'll find that. Number six. When you're free, your true creativity, your true self, comes out. Step three, paragraph. Sometimes you've got to let everything go, purge yourself. If you are unhappy with anything, whatever is bringing you down, get rid of it, because you'll find that when you're free, your true creativity, your true self, comes out. Step four. Exercise. Number one. You've got to let everything go. Number two. Whatever is bringing you down, get rid of it. Number three. Your true self comes out. Day fifty. Acceptance is a small, quiet room.
Cheryl Strayed. Step 1. Preview. Most things will be okay, eventually. But not everything will be. Sometimes you'll put up a good fight and lose. Sometimes you'll hold on really hard and realize there is no choice but to let go. Acceptance is a small, quiet room. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Most things will be okay eventually. But not everything will be. Number 2. Sometimes you'll put up a good fight and lose. Number 3. Sometimes you'll hold on really hard and realize there is no choice but to let go. Number 4. Acceptance is a small, quiet room. Step 3. Paragraph. Most things will be okay eventually, but not everything will be. Sometimes you'll put up a good fight and lose. Sometimes you'll hold on really hard and realize there is no choice but to let go. Acceptance is a small, quiet room. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Most things will be okay eventually. Number 2. Sometimes you'll put up a good fight and lose. Number 3. Acceptance is a small, quiet room.